back, everybody, to Orthodox Review, the most uneducated educational program here on the internet today. I'm your host, the guy with one and a half thumbs. And uh, hey, what do you think of this picture quality, huh? New camera, new microphone, got a computer. Things are looking up for old Raffi Bomb here. <laughs> At any rate, uh, before we get into the video, I'd just like to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you once again to all my patron subscribers. Uh, for making all of this possible. You guys and gals are absolute saints. I love you all to death. Um, and if you'd like to help, to, uh, you know, contribute to the show, feel free to hit the links below for Patreon. We also have a PayPal tip jar if that's your thing. Uh, plus, there's all sorts of other links down below for uh, great Orthodox goods that I just happen to be a fan of. In addition to that, where there will be links where you can buy the subject of today's review. And the subject of today's review is yet another Psalter. Uh, kind of been holding back on this one. I, I went through a, a time there where we, we, we did quite a few Psalters, and I just figured it was time to take a break from Psalters, do some other stuff. But hey, we're back. We got some Psalters. This one is from the Center for Traditionalist Orthodox Studies in uh, Aetna, California. Um, I will not comment on the publisher itself, but they do fine work. Uh, for those of you that have seen, or maybe those of you who have not seen, uh, the uh, Evergentino series uh, that I started a review on, uh, also published and translated by them. So we're looking at uh, some high quality innards here. Now there used to be a hardbound copy of this, which uh, a buddy of mine actually has, and I keep meaning to borrow it from him uh, for comparison on the show, but I, I keep forgetting. So uh, I, I guess we're all going to lose out on that one. But at any rate, so here we go. Um, it's, it's just a paperback, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with it being a paperback. Uh, this was published in 2008. Um, now, the translation is the King James translation corrected for the Septuagint. So imagine King James with some slight variations and, of course, the Septuagint numbering. Uh, now, uh, the arrangement was compiled by Father Michael Asser and edited by uh, the Monastery of uh, St. Gregory uh, Palamas out there in California. And that's pretty much all the insight you'll get into it. And really, the beauty of the book is in the beauty of the book. They really kind of pulled out all the stops when it came to just making something beautiful. So, um, boop, 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 boop. So right away here on the, at the table of contents, which you'll find, you know, just you know what's in the Psalter, um, you're going to get some really nice artwork. And you'll see that all through the Psalter. Um, so let's get into this. Now you do have a list of icons uh, on given pages, and you'll understand why once you see them. But again, Here's some of this beautiful artwork. And up here, we've got the Prophet and King David. Oh, this camera's pretty good. I can really get in there and show you the good stuff. How close can I get? How close can I get? Oh, the camera's trying really hard to focus. Okay, well, anyway, so that's close enough. But you get the idea. Is a, a, so, yeah, so very beautiful. Um, and then what's cool is this is like, imagine a colorized version of the Boston Psalter. And it's pretty much what you have here. Um, the use of full color, the readability is fantastic. It's just that perfect font point. You're looking at about 12 point, no, 12, 12.5 font on that. And uh, just really easy to read, well spaced. Um, and for those of you that you know, maybe come from a different tradition into orthodoxy. It'll be a comfortable translation for you, which never hurts. But really the standout with this is the full color icons, the page headers, the lettering, just all in all a fantastic volume. And there, and there are some great icons of, uh, there's one near the back actually that I particularly love for no good reason, St. John, there he is. Um, let me see if I can find it for you. I mean, there's really nothing special about it. Oh, that's a great deesis. Again, 
I don't think the camera's really doing it justice either. It doesn't look like some computer printed mess. It's uh, really just well done. Um, and so nothing more to it than that. Uh, I suppose I ought to read you one of the Psalms so you understand the translation. Oh no, what was that back there? Now, where is it? Come on. It's back here. I, I'm not wasting your time, folks. This, is, this video is going to be under 10 minutes. Uh, not that I make any money from monetization anyway. But uh, I just, I really, I really want to show this one off. Just hang tight, hang tight, hang tight. That's one of them. We're getting close. There it is. The Three Holy Youths. Now, I don't know what it is about this particular icon of the Three Holy Youths. Maybe it's because of the, the, the thicker lining. Uh, it kind of gives it that Coptic feel to it, but I don't know. I just really like it. Oh, man, spooky. Really? <sighs> this thing has a pause button. That's pretty rad. But anyway, <laughs> back to it. So um, it does also uh, contain the 12 biblical canticles. And then in the back... Much like the Boston Psalter, you have simple tables to show uh, what psalms are read when, etc., etc., etc. But again, you have the luxury of full color tables and icons. And in the end, a lovely icon of the prophet King David, who we all love so well. Uh, some of my notes in the back there that you probably can't read. But anyway, not much to it, but still a beautiful Psalter. And if you're looking for a Psalter that is beautiful, easy to read, and don't mind something being paperback, which, you know, will wear and tear after a while, as you can see. I, get a little, eh, I don't use it all that much, but, you know. Anyway, so check it out. Link will be below. Um, as always, on behalf of Spooky Cat and myself, I uh, really appreciate y'all standing by and hanging out with us and don't forget to check out patreon for exclusive content um yeah that's all there is to it uh i love y'all go to church say your prayers remember god and uh we'll catch you next time peace <laughs>